NFL players have gotten stronger and faster with every passing decade. As more players take advantage of modern training techniques, the league is pushing athletes to heights we have never seen before. While players can train to get faster and stronger, no amount of training can help them get taller. So here's some players who are always in the back line on Team Picture Day. The 10 Tallest Players in NFL History Number 10. Calais Campbell 6 feet 8 inches One of the few active players on the list, Campbell has been one of the most dominating defensive linemen for a decade. While he's only reached double-digit sack totals twice since 2009, he has recorded at least 6.5 sacks in 10 out of the previous 11 seasons. Campbell packs 300 pounds onto his imposing 6-foot, 8-inch frame, and it has wreaked havoc on opposing offensive lines whenever he lines up. On top of his presence as a pass rusher, Campbell has really earned his reputation as a premier lineman from his consistent work from stopping the run. It makes sense that teams would struggle to create a hole for their running backs when a powerful player like Campbell is down in a three-point stance. The five-time Pro Bowler and 2017 All-Pro has also earned a reputation as one of the sport's best people off the field. Campbell has a long history of working in the community. He's made a difference in countless lives in Arizona and Florida. This offseason, the Jacksonville Jaguars traded Campbell to the Baltimore Ravens, where Campbell seems destined to take an already elite defense to another level. Number 9. Dan McGuire, 6 feet 8 inches While Campbell has made plenty of money chasing quarterbacks, McGuire holds the record for the tallest quarterback in NFL history. Unlike Campbell, though, McGuire was never able to have much sustained professional success. After a solid collegiate career between Iowa and San Diego State, the Seattle Seahawks selected McGuire with the 16th overall pick in the 1991 NFL Draft. Needless to say, his record-setting height would never coincide with much positive production. Over four seasons in Seattle, McGuire could barely earn himself much playing time off the bench. He appeared in 12 games, primarily in garbage time and started on five occasions. After leaving Seattle, he threw one incomplete pass and took one sack for the Miami Dolphins before leaving the NFL for good. In the end, McGuire completed just half of his 148 career pass attempts for just two touchdowns and six interceptions. His large frame proved problematic avoiding the rush, as well as allowing him to be sacked 21 times in his limited playing time. However, regardless of how mediocre his overall career was, McGuire still has a place in the record books as the tallest quarterback in NFL history. Number 8. Harold Carmichael, 6 feet 8 inches Imagine lining up as a defensive back in your own red zone, and you have to shut down a towering 6 foot 8 inch tall receiver right across from you. Well, that was a nightmare for defensive backs throughout the league, from 1971 to 1984 against Harold Carmichael. While the Philadelphia Eagles drafted Carmichael as a tight end in the seventh round of the 1971 NFL Draft, by 1973, Carmichael was lining up outside as a wide receiver. His bulking size made him a historical anomaly at the position, but it also had limitations. Without elite speed or separation, Carmichael relied on his superior size and length to carve out a successful career. Carmichael's career peaked early in 1973 when he led the league in receptions and receiving yards with 67 catches and 1,116 yards. Carmichael reached at least 500 yards receiving for the next 10 seasons and twice eclipsed the 1,000-yard receiving mark again. Most importantly, his value remained primarily around the red zone. He consistently caught more than half a dozen touchdowns, including 11 touchdown grabs in 1979. All in all, Carmichael built a strong career out of his record-setting height. Number 7. Damar Dotson, 6 feet 9 inches Offensive tackles tend to be the tallest players on the field, routinely checking in between 6'5 and 6'7. But coming in at 6 feet 9 inches tall, DeMar Dotson is one of the seven tallest players to ever grace an NFL football field. As veteran tackle, Dotson was signed as an undrafted free agent by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before the 2009 season. In the 11 seasons, Dotson has started 106 games between the blind side and the right tackle spots and appeared in another 24 games in Tampa's offensive line rotation. 
Never more than a passable filler, Dotson carved a career out of having a big body he was able to use well enough. Nonetheless, nothing stands out about an otherwise mediocre career. That's what makes Dotson another prime example that height has its benefits, but by no means ensures an incredible career. Instead, Dotson had a very common, albeit solid, NFL career. He just did it while being one of the tallest players in league history. Number 6. Alejandro Villanueva, 6 feet 9 inches. Alejandro Villanueva has one of the most impressive stories of any current NFL player. After graduating from the United States Military Academy, West Point, Villanueva served three tours of duty with the U.S. military in Afghanistan. He earned the Bronze Star en route to finishing his military career as an Army captain. When it was all said and done, Villanueva still wanted to pursue his football dreams. The Philadelphia Eagles signed him after an impressive showing at a regional tryout, but he failed to crack their roster during training camp. However, the Pittsburgh Steelers took advantage and scooped him up off the scrap heap. Not only has he carved out a quality professional career, he's become a legitimate starter at one of the most valuable positions in football. Since 2010, Villanueva has served as the team's starting left tackle and has now started 74 consecutive games for the Steelers. He's been more than just competent, though, earning two Pro Bowl selections in his time. At 6 feet 9 inches, Villanueva's length has done a fantastic job against opposing pass rushers, but his historic height isn't the only way he's climbed into the record books. Villanueva is also the third player of Spanish descent to play in the NFL. Number 5. Jonathan Ogden, 6 feet 9 inches the lone Hall of Famer on the list, Jonathan Ogden was making history before he played in the NFL. During his time in college at UCLA, Ogden not only received the Outland Trophy, an award for the best offensive lineman in college football, but also won the 1996 Men's Indoor Track and Field Championship in shot put. Following his illustrious collegiate career, the Baltimore Ravens selected Ogden with the fourth overall pick in the 1996 NFL Draft. It's rare for a top five draft pick to ever meet the high expectations placed upon them. It's even rarer for one to exceed them. But that's exactly what Ogden did. For the next 12 seasons, Ogden would start on the Ravens' offensive line almost exclusively at left tackle. When he hung up his cleats following the 2007 season, Ogden had made a case for himself as the greatest blindside blocker ever, an 11-time Pro Bowler and four-time first-team All-Pro. Ogden was ranked as one of the NFL's 100 best players of all time. Needless to say, his place on this list is far from the biggest accomplishment of his professional career, but it surely proves that you can't be too tall to be an all-time great. Number 4. Ed Too Tall Jones, 6 feet 9 inches. It's a great tragedy that the NFL did not start recording sacks as an official statistic until 1982. No matter how much film we watch, it's hard to know just how good some pass rushers were. Ed Too Tall Jones' height was an opposing offensive line's nightmare. In college, at Tennessee State, Jones was originally recruited to play basketball before realizing his physical abilities were best suited for the gridiron. When he made the transition, he took college football by storm, recording 12 sacks in a season and amassing a career college sack total of 38. His impressive performance led the Dallas Cowboys to select Jones with the first overall pick in the 1974 NFL Draft. He quickly slotted into the defensive front on America's team and was a part of the Cowboys' Super Bowl championship run in 1978. After five impressive professional seasons, Jones stepped away to pursue a professional boxing career in 1979. Jones fought six times and went undefeated, winning five by knockout before deciding to return to Dallas in 1980, where he would play for the next decade. Even though the NFL wasn't recording sack totals until Jones was 31 years old, he amassed 57 and a half career sacks and earned three trips to the Pro Bowl. Number 3. Dan Skipper, 6 feet 9 inches. Another offensive tackle, Dan Skipper has never been able to get much production out of his 6 foot 9 inch 325 pound frame. Barely more than a rotational player in his four years at Arkansas, 
Skipper went undrafted in the 2017 NFL Draft and has since spawned a short-lived journeyman career. While he was originally signed by the Dallas Cowboys, he never appeared in a regular season game and was signed to the team's practice squad for three weeks. After he was unconditionally released by Dallas, the Detroit Lions added him to their practice squad just five days later. Following some injuries, he was promoted and appeared in a single game in 2017. The next season, he would spend a mere four days on Detroit's practice squad before he once again was a free agent. It took stints on the Denver Broncos and New England Patriots practice squads before he finally got to see official game action again. In 2019, he played in three games for the Houston Texans and another three with the Detroit Lions. Skipper remains in Detroit's mix, but we'll see if he's able to avoid the circus of transactions he's undergone over his first three professional seasons. Number 2. Morris Stroud, 6 feet 10 inches Like Harold Carmichael, coaches saw an athletic guy with rare height stroll onto their football field and said, we're gonna try and throw him the ball. Well, to be fair, Stroud didn't so much as stroll onto the field, as a coach asked him to give it a try. Stroud played basketball at Clark Atlanta University and had a very limited football experience. However, Kansas City Chiefs coach Hank Strom wanted to give his combination of size and athleticism a shot in the NFL. After Kansas City selected him in the third round of the 1969 NFL Draft, Stroud gave tight end a shot. At 6'10", Stroud is the second tallest player in NFL history, and it's hard to envision too many linebackers or defensive backs being excited to line up against him. While he was never able to have sustained success, his career serves as a direct precursor to future great tight ends like Tony Gonzalez or Jimmy Graham, both of whom also transitioned from basketball to tight end. Over his six-year career, Stroud made 49 starts and caught 54 receptions for 977 receiving yards and 7 touchdowns. Number 1. Richard Sly 7 Feet the only player in league history to be at least seven feet tall. Richard Sly holds the mark as the tallest player in NFL history. Sly attended North Carolina Central University, where he both played football and excelled academically. Earning a place on the school's dean list, he earned a bachelor's degree with a major in biology and minor in chemistry in his time there. After he finished up his college career, the Oakland Raiders drafted Sly in the 10th round of the 1967 NFL-AFL Draft as a defensive tackle. While on paper it would seem impossible for an offensive line to stop Sly's size, it never materialized in the way the Raiders probably dreamed. Sly did appear in six games off the bench in 1967 and was selected by the Cincinnati Bengals in the AFL allocation draft. However, the Bengals waived him before he ever played a game. Indeed, Sly had only a brief stint of a pro football career, but his height alone gives him a spot in the NFL lore forever. So, what do you think? Will there ever be someone taller than seven feet playing in the NFL? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching Nonstop Sports. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe and turn on post notifications. We'll catch you next time.